Hey there, Jake. That's right. That date is January 11th, and that is when that's going to be closed, the viaduct, and it'd be closed for good. And that also means we have 70 days to figure out how we're going to get around Seattle in the three week span between January 11th and when the tunnel opens and washed out hopes that date is Monday, February 4th for that tunnel opening. Now, right before the opening, WashDOT planning a little, you know, goodbye party for the viaduct, a hello party for the tunnel. It's going to be February 2nd and 3rd Super Bowl weekend. Events will include a fun run Saturday morning, a bike ride on Sunday. You can hang out on the viaduct while it's closed to traffic. Now, King 5 will be the official station of that tunnel opening. All that's the fun part. Let's go to the not fun part. WashDOT says January 11th will be the start of the longest major highway closure that the Puget Sound region has ever seen. All right, that doesn't sound good, right? So even if you don't use the viaduct, expect that traffic around Seattle and the communities surrounding is going to be a little tough. I mean, the viaduct has roughly 90,000 cars drive on it every day. And just during the weekday morning commute alone, 19,000 vehicles travel north on the viaduct. And then more than half of those take Seneca or Western Avenue exits to get downtown. So it's going to, without those arteries and, or those ways to get downtown, it's going to be tricky. And Washdot hopes that you will uh, plan ahead. And folks need to start thinking now about what their alternative transportations are going to be. And what will those alternative transportation ways be? Well, WashDOT has compiled a list. They hope that more people will opt to work from home, maybe use the ride share, bike, take the bus, walk, or even the water taxi. But, you know, realistically, not everybody can alter their route that much. So we're just going to have to prepare ourselves for three weeks of the 99 closure. I'm, I'm sorry, the viaduct closure. But, you know, we can do it. We're used to traffic around here. and. I have full confidence, but again, January 11th is that date the viaduct will be closing in Seattle. I'm Vanessa Mishanya, King 5 Mornings. Back All right. to you guys. Yeah, thanks, Vanessa.